Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Dr. Stone, which is on episode 17. Now, I know this is... This is one of those recaps that com comes in early. Let's just say my days are a little bit complicated. Some days I can do it, some days I can't, you know. For other reasons, I mean like, um, you know how life goes. But, if anything, guess I got one of those lucky days by such. But if anything else, let's just get this started. <laughs> We have to it that the story continues about Ishigami Byakuya and the other five su survi last survivals of humanity after they got petrified. We see to it that they decide to go down to Earth, but Lilian, Shamil, and maybe Kony decides to be the first ones to go, and apparently they were trapped in there for a while, and they do give a radio message and let them know that they're okay, but they're about to sink down soon. Eventually... Ishigami Byakuya, along with like, um, <clears throat> along with the, I forgot what those two people's names are, forgive me. <laughs> they end up, they end up coming along to Earth 2 and manages to rescue them about 10 hours late, later, you know. And of course, eventually, they end up making their home on a certain island, of course, and eventually things did not, would not go so well, because... You know, as time goes on, they end up ha they Connie and Shamir will get married, of course, eventually. But, of course, Connie will be the first one to pass, and she will lose to pneumonia, which is, <clears throat> which is... Which is a certain disease that we all are affected to, or will can be affected to, and it sucks really badly. And, eventually, as time continues on, Shamir will be the next one to go, and... After that, Lillian and Ishigami Byakuya. But eventually, um, Byakuya would be the one to actually pass down a story or message that will go on for thousands of years until Senku will finally break free of his petrification, you know? And by the time he passed away, of course, these stories will later on be passed down generation to generation for thousands of years and eventually will reach to Senku. Which will culminate at least 3,000 years later, 700 I believe, but if anything, around the 3,000 year, 3, years later, if anything. But as time continu as the episode continues on, of course, um, <coughs> the, the last message will later on be passed to Senku eventually, and we get to know that um, Ishigami Byakuya would not actually be, won't even be related to Senku at all, which is really, really, which is really crazy. I'm like, holy crud, man, that's just tent. That's just insane. But aside from that, um everyone seems everyone in the village seems to be celebrating Senku's rise to chieftain, you know, and after Senku gets the message delivered and it, Senku decides to stay around the cemetery's grave for a bit and remembers the time with this with his foster father or stepfather, you know, and if after, like, um, a certain gift that he will give to Senku is having a lot of friends and allies with you, you know, and other people. Eventually, Chrome will be the one to actually take an interest in rocks and gather so much of them, you know? That's, <laughs> that's when one of his wishes of, like, hopefully someone will get an interest in rocks and able to collect as much as they can. As for, um, the others, they seem to be okay. As for Ishigami Gen, or should I say Gen in other cases, or Asagiri Gen, he ends up delivering a message that Tsukasa Chan's army is on the way, and Senku's like, oh, so this is where science will come into play, which I go, like, oh boy, here we go, this is gonna be one hell of a <laughs> time, because after this backstory about Ishigami Byakuya, along with the other last survivors of humanity, they still prosper despite, despite losing many, despite losing, you know, Lillian, Connie, Shamil, and those other two who apparently, after Connie was sick, you know those other two people I forgot to mention? They end up having to go to another island to try to like, um, make some anti, to go find some antibiotics and they never came back. So pretty much they died at sea, which really sucks. <laughs> but we see to it that things are going to be looking very ugly right now because Tsukasa, along with his army, is on the way to the village where Kohaku-chan Senku is at. But Senku says, 
this is a time to show how real science goes about 100% or 10 billion percent <laughs> or something, you know? Anyways, pretty cool episode and Stone Wars. Next episode, we begin Stone Wars, which I go like, oh boy, here we go, <laughs> etc. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.